And welcome back. Oh, sorry. What is up, guys? And welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode, we beat the, um, this, whatever this, this city's called. I keep on forgetting the city, but we beat the city gym, and we also stumbled upon the hospital, which had the really creepy ass uh, Sonata. That's right. I just remembered right before the name appeared. The Sonata gym, and we went to the Sonata hospital, and, uh, Harmony's dad, the gym leader, just became a freaking Deoxys and kidnapped Damien. So, with that, today we're just gonna continue on, I guess, like nothing happened, and go to Kepler City. But here's Route 10, and, um... It's currently nighttime. I'm doing. Oh. My. Alright, well, here. Let, let's show off our, um. Mega Evolution for the first time. But what the heck? Alright, so here you guys can see that's Mega Typhlosion. Looks like a freaking beast. That's gonna do no damage. Great, that's gonna do quite the amount. Alright, let's go for a Lava Plume. Too much, dude. What the hell? Level 51 Empoleon. We're gonna catch this thing. Oh, we will catch this. On go out there. Let's go for a nice beam. It does nothing. Uh, I feel like Shockwave will kill it. We could try though, bruh. No, I, I'm going to catch that. I'm going to catch an Empoleon. I don't care what anyone says. Uh uh, no. I refuse. I refuse to not catch an Empoleon. Great, and now we gotta battle this guy. Oh my god, man. Just let me catch my Empoleon. Alright, Heavy Sam should one tap this guy since he's really small. Bam, there we go. Jinx is gonna come out next. I probably should switch. Oh, wait, no. Mochi died actually. Right, let's go for a crunch here. It's gonna be super effective. So you just got wrecked. Anyway. Frick, man. Frick. Come on, Napoleon. Alright, nowhere as high level as before, but still here. Alright, let's go for a heavy slam. Bruh. Alright, let's go for a crudge. Nice, perfect. We're gonna catch this thing. Anyone says, Ultra Ball, get in there. No. The most OP Pokeball ever, I think, is the Tiber Ball. We have one. Alright, so let's just keep on stalling this dude. And then if we don't catch him eventually, the Tiber Ball will do the job. We only have one, though, so we have to make sure it does. Alright. Kind of running out of Ultra Balls. Go for a couple great balls. Oh, so close. I will catch this guy. We are gonna catch him. Alright, I promise you that. Let's go for a great ball. We'll go for one more great ball. And if that doesn't work, the timer ball will do the job. Come on, baby. Oh! We caught the Empoleon! Awesome possum. Damn, look at that thing. No. Holy crap, man. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up. We'll be right back. I'll be honest, I got carried away and I battled every single trainer on this route because I didn't want this episode to be a bunch of battling. So I already took care of that. Also, I found a, a secret grotto off camera that's right there, right in front of us. So the, to our right, you see it. Uh, I found I found that, a secret grotto. I checked inside there and there was literally nothing in there. So I'll come back later. I went back to the old one from one of the previous routes before Sonata Town and there was nothing in there. So two grottos. Uh, that have nothing in them, but I do remember where they are, so hopefully I'll come back and keep on checking them, because I have a feeling there's at least something in one of them. Uh, anyway, I think we're supposed to go over here, Maelstrom 9. Before we go there, let's spray a repel. Yeah, I really didn't want this episode to be just be me, like, fighting nonstop, so I, I switched it up. Alright. <clears throat> anyway, we'll spray a max repel. Let's get going. Dang, this place is huge. Also, there's a swimmer right here. Do you want to battle? I love swimming so much, even a male swim can keep me away. Holy crap. What's Octic Azuka? None of my people can learn that. I feel like that's the only move Octillery can learn, maybe? Hold on. 
No, no, no. I want to see what you... Yeah, water pulls. Okay. How much damage does water pulls do? Let's, let's check right now. 60. Oh, yeah. We're not going to learn that, actually. Alright. Well, sorry for wasting all that time. Alright. Goodbye, lady. Uh, whoa. This is a huge dive spot. Where are we supposed to... I think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, look. We made it to Kepler City. There's a reactor underground that generates huge amounts of energy every second. It's actually a lot safer than people give credit for. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, there's also a really deep ocean in Shanghai. Huh? What a funny coincidence. Uh, yeah, okay, man. Alright. Let's, uh, looks like there's just a bunch of junk everywhere. I guess that's because they're inventors. It's definitely the tech and science of City Torn. Every innovation from Pokeballs to power all come from here. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder if there's any good trades going on. Being young one, I'm the ancient guardian of the legendary HM. Yes, I've been wanting this so long. I think he gives it us for free. Bam. Kids these days. Alright, so if we go to our bag, let's see how much damage Surf does. Because I would love to teach that to Asuna based on how much damage it does. 90 damage, and it's a guaranteed. It can be also be used for crossing water. The user attacks by swinging its tail as if it were a vicious wave in a raging storm. Dude. Uh, I don't know. Surf is just better because it has 5 more PP and it's 100% accurate. But then, Sword Stance we need. Heavy Slam we need. Crunch? Mm. Yeah, none of our other Pokemon have, none of our other, none of our other Pokemon have Crunch. So, I think I'm going to get rid of Aqua Tail for now. We can always relearn Aqua Tail anyway. Back where that, um... Back where, whatever it was called, where that swimmer was. So she teaches Aqua Tail. So that's cool enough. I'm the move tutor. I can teach the move Defog. What is... Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Whatever, man. Come back anytime. Alright, I, I probably won't, but... Thanks. Alright, we're not gonna use Rapel. We're gonna talk to you. I absolutely love living here in Kepler. I'm gonna arm, honor my parents by never moving away. Hey, man. Oh, Ether. If you wanna honor your parents by doing that, then... It makes you happy, then go for it. I spent years training a psychic type of ghost Pokemon. It was really when I moved to Kepler City. There's so much mysterious. Hmm. I think the scariest cold in the region is the Infernal, and their members are creepy, to say the least. It feels like they were brainwashed into joining. Probably were. Also, the Infernal Cult is a cult that one of us are supposed to join. Uh, me, Damien, or Nora are supposed to join the Infernal Cult somehow. I don't know how that's going to work. Also, that's a gym sign, so... She's one of the heck of a battler, and she's a master of both steel and electric types. Sounds cool. Freaking whale lord. Sometimes I have kids in school, so that's right. My Pokemon are bigger. Huh, I guess this guy is small, but he has a big Pokemon. Alright, uh... What's this? This is Anastasia's secret lab. I'm afraid I can't let you in. Access is restricted. Aw, oh, man. I want to go in. Alright, well, there's a couple more houses right here, so we can check that out. Uh, would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Beldum. For any electric and fire type Pokemon. I don't actually know of an electric and fire type Pokemon. I wonder if that Beldum is a... I wonder if it's a Delta. That'd be pretty interesting. Oh, dang. We just got hail. Alright, uh... Electric and fire type. I'm gonna search up electric and fire types and... Because maybe that's a cool Beldum. I can go catch one. The Ogre's actually a cultist. He's been running the city behind our backs. Wake up, Maripol. I get it, Marie. Actually, that guy was speaking straight facts, though. He really was. My friend's like this all the time. No, no, your friend's right, though. Alright, you know what? Whatever. She's almost never here, though. She's in the observatory. I'm working on her own projects in her lab. I guess there's one of the drawbacks of being a gym leader and having an actual job. Wait. What? We just want a TM in a bush. I repeat, we just want a TM in a... Shrouds itself into electricity and smashes into his... What? Uh, what? Well, how much damage does this do? Because we just accidentally found this. Oh my god, 90 damage. Shockwave, goodbye. It also damages the user a little. Okay, so I'm probably never going to use it, though, because it damages us. So unless we run out of Thunderbolt PP, then I'll start using it. He's working at Shade's gym. She's a very um, passionate lady. She enjoys what she does very much. She can be a bit overbearing at times, but hey, nobody's perfect.
Yeah, man, I feel you. Alright. Mega Evolution. I don't like these gems. Like, that's... A... Hey, kid, it's me, the director. Listen, you're a hit. People love you on TV. Would you mind coming back to the broadcast tower? We need to start filming the next episode right away. Dude, no way. They finally called back. It's taken a really long time, actually. Kate Town? Aerial Ace TM? Really? We already had that TM. Alright, whatever, man. I was on the tall grass and I came against two Pokemon at once. Yeah, that's a thing, apparently, in this game. I've, I've seen that. Double battles is a thing in the wild. Which I think is a cool idea, I guess. Um, nothing here. Did we talk to you? Yeah, we did talk to you. Um, frick, man. So, I, I kind of want to go... Ooh, I don't know. I want to go take on the gym, but I think we also have to... We have to go... Okay, well, I don't even know what this is. You know what? Before I do anything, I do want to actually go back to Sun Touch because that broadcasting, they you get to catch really cool Pokemon. So I think I'm gonna do that actually. Taxi. We can get a little sidetracked for an episode. We haven't really gone off like the normal story for a little bit, so I guess we could. Uh, where is Sun Touch? Here we go. Alright, man, I thought you would never call us back, but finally we get a call back. That's just like the scientist at Coral Town, I believe it's called. She never called us back either, because she was like, oh yeah, you can help us with missions, and we got a Kabutops from her from catching it, so. I like doing these missions. You get really cool Pokemon. Anyway, looks like the guy up here wants to talk to us, so. Let me see. Oh, here he is. Great work on your last mission, bro. We have some information about a very rare Pokemon appeared in one of the many torn forests. We'd like you to check it out, but be warned, it can and will flee upon a countering. Don't be alarmed if it happens. We'll be sure to pay you extra. Well, holy crap, dude. I better save. So, apparently this Pokemon will flee if uh, encountered or something like that. Alright, so we're definitely going to save. Man, he said very, very rare. He said, he said very rare as well. I don't... No, no, I'm, no, what? Are you, are you serious right now? Level 90? I can't believe I got to see a legendary Pokemon. Last footage will sell for thousands. Here's your payment. Be sure to call you again. Bro. No, what? Level 90 Latios just we we talk, we talk to it and it just disappears. Bruh. We did all that for 3K. It's not worth 3K. All right, well let's go, man. Great. I mean, I was really. Frick! Level 90 Latios? I guess that makes sense. You can't catch it right now, but like, it, it, we didn't even get to try to catch it. My man just fled right away. Uh, also, we gotta go up here, so let me speed up. Alright. Here we go. We gotta. Maybe we have to go in here? I don't know what this is. Miss Asia's great scientist, but she's always so busy. And her gym being a gym leader and research and engineer, it's amazing she has all this free time. Using our telescope, we can record the trajectory of different celestial bodies. Hey, let me go back there. No, I'm going back. Bruh. Who is this? There's a poop on her head. One moment, please. Dr. Wright, the so telescope is completely fine. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a white glare in the middle of the image. It's clearly broken somehow. In the astronomy world, we call that a star. That's not what that... We'll talk about this later. If you spent less time on that project of yours and more on actually research... Right, I said later. And don't forget that project of mine is what's funding us in the first place. Anyways, how can I help you? Oh, so you're a challenger. Nice to meet you. I'm Anastasia. I run the gym here. Bruh, this is Anastasia. My gym is based around machines. I specialize in both electric and steel types. I'd be glad to take you on. Harmony told you to warn me about the perfection cult? One of their lackeys might be coming after me. I see. Thanks for letting me know, but you don't need to worry. Let's just get going. I'm pretty busy at the moment. The sooner we can get this battle, then the better. Alright, Anastasia. Let's go get ready for that, I guess. Oh, damn, it's raining. What? Yeah, what indeed? 
Gosh, nighttime is so hard to see. The weather wasn't like this when I went into the building. This can't possibly be natural. But what kind of machine could possibly have created this? Not a machine, Anastasia. A Pokemon. Oh, it's Audrey. Audrey. How have you been, Anastasia? Alive? The world is changing. Our plan has officially been put into action. The storm is only the beginning. Soon my Lugia storms will flood the entire world. I thought your group worshipped Kyogre. Oh, we do, believe me. But Kyogre's true value is only revealed in specific circumstances. Those conditions are being created as we speak. And since leaders like you are too busy trying to save civilians, we can't be stopped. Tell me, Anastasia, have you ever heard of the... Have you ever heard of Talisphobia? Like, describe mankind's innate, innate fear of the deep, deep ocean. And soon, very soon, we'll be reminded of where it came from. Well, that's fantastic. The worst part is she's right. I can't stop her. I need to go protect people from floods. But you, I'm not going to ask you to fight her. I can't ask something like that of a kid. But if you could take this and find someone who could, I'd greatly appreciate it. Yeah, all right, Anastasia. We'll go fight him. If she has Kyogre, then she must be in a very deep part of the ocean. And the only place like that is in the Maelstrom 9. The scuba deer will let you go dive down there. If the Abyssal Cole is putting their plan into action, that now is the best time to end them. That's how it works in the movies, right? Man, okay, so it looks like we gotta go to freaking Maelstrom 9 and dive down there. And also, it's freaking dark and I can't see anything. There's lightning everywhere. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to go do that. Also, this place is flooding, which is kind of scary. You know what, we're gonna do that in the next episode, though, because right now I'm... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I I think I should... I'm actually gonna go check out a bunch of dive spots off camera that have mega stones in them before we do that. But I'm kind of wondering if every single spot is gonna be flooding that would be kind of interesting i'm gonna have to go check that anyway um is there not a pika taxi guy here i just realized that i don't think there is oh i guess we can look for one real quick oh yeah no there is he's on the left that's right all right man i can literally i can't see anything also i don't think we went in here the door is locked maybe this is some kind of special house now i'm curious about that um Pika Taxi, where are you, bro? I guess there's no Pika Taxi thing here. Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll sort this all out later on. But uh, for now, I'm going to end off the episode here. So thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to go into Maelstrom 9 and find freaking Audrey. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys then. Peace.